Okay, success in Geneva, appreciate it. success engineering official so as I told you in my last tutorials uh, the, I have explained the steps uh, what step we should follow to do this uh, to do any types of project HBAC in system so in that in that uh, I, I will go I'm going to start uh, all the steps so first step is study the architectural drawing plan section and elevation so you can take any one of the drawing so i'm going to take this drawing okay so in this drawing we have to study how how many how many rooms are there how many bedrooms how many kitchens this is the floor plan for one of the villas so how to study this so in this you can see this is one kitchen is here okay and uh, this size of the kitchen is given 3 meter by 4.5 meter and here is the bedroom so bedroom size is also given 3 by 4.5 okay and one lobby is here so 2.2 .2 by 3.8 meter lobby size and uh, one more living room is here 4 by 6 meter and this is the parking area so we are not going to bother this because we are not going to design the ac system for this uh, parking areas okay and uh, this is the bathroom and uh, this is wc okay so there are three two rooms one lobbies and one kitchen and one bathroom and wc so this is a small uh, plan floor plan so in this uh, we will design the ac system for uh, a following this uh, complete uh, steps so please be with me just to learn the full concept and this will be very helpful for the beginners uh, for the experienced people the experienced uh, students uh, it will be easy but uh, for the beginners it will be very useful and helpful for the future project okay so this is the floor plan okay and the size is also given this uh, full uh, plot size 10 meter by 9 meter okay and this is the elevation so from the elevation we are getting the height of the building so you can see here this is 3 meter height from this uh, floor to this uh, bottom of the slab and the window height is given here 0 0.9 meter and the sill height uh, here is the sill height this is the sill height 0 0.9 meter is called and this is the plinth so plinth height is 0 0.6 meter and this is a parapet wall okay so this is the elevation and from the section we are getting the fall ceiling for example if uh, this uh, uh, these rooms have a fall ceiling okay for example this is office building so there will be fall ceiling okay so like this there will be fall ceiling okay so uh, from the section we are getting the fall ceiling for example this is the section a b okay so in this plan you can see this is the section we cut the section from here section a and b okay so for for this lobby area we if there is ceiling fall ceiling so we can see the height of the fall ceiling in the center for example uh, this uh, door is cut so we, we cannot found this door is cut here and this opening is also here visible so we don't know the height of this door from this floor plan so you have to check this height of the door is here okay in the section view so you can see this is the opening 2.1 meter height is given here and the window height you can also found here in this uh, section drawing as well as you can found the ceiling height from the floor to the bottom of the slab each and every height is uh, you can found it here window height sill height and plinth height everything you can get it from this section drawing so first we have to this is the twg file for that project so first step is study this drawing so you can study this uh, each and everything very carefully then you have to move to the next step uh, uh, next step is uh, do the load calculation so if uh, the project is very weak so you can do the load calculation with the app software so you can see this is the app software let me open this
i will show you so this is the help software okay so you can do this uh, load calculation using this app software just to save the time if the if the building is a small or commercial building residential building or two three uh, rooms are there so you can do this manually also okay using thumb rule so no need to go to this uh, uh, app so app will take time because so many parameter we have to enter in that so you have to use uh, thumb rule so i will show you how to use the thumb rule in this project in the next uh, step so and uh, you you can use the thumb rule and you will do the load calculation okay so in the next uh, tutorials guys i will do the load calculation for this uh, plan okay so after load calculation we have to select the types of ac system the next uh, and third step is We'll select the EC type according to load calculation and building type. Okay, so please be with me and uh, keep watching my videos and don't uh, forget to subscribe my channel as well so that you cannot uh, miss any of my videos. So thank you for watching my videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.